Let's go to uh, Brian. Oh, it's Brian in Palo Alto. BPA. Oh, man. Happy holidays, buddy. <clears throat> you too, guys. How you doing? Oh, dynamite. It's well. Um, you know, I, uh, that was a great Warrior win yesterday. Mm. Some of the wise. How about Draymond? I think we're maybe. He's great. He was yeah. unbelievable. Uh, I, I have uh, fully admitted the errors of my prior <laughs> Draymond take years <laughs> prior, and, and definitely I seem to appreciate him more now while the team maybe appreciates him less. But, Interesting. Um, you know, I think let's pump the brakes on Wiseman. Like he was okay. able to catch the ball, right, and not hemorrhage plus minus on the court one time, right? Like, let's, you know, like. He's averaging 15 a game over the last two. It's progress. I mean, he yes, that was, again, like awesome that, you know, playing a terrible defensive team in Brooklyn and nobody guarding him for 24 minutes is great. But, like, let's see him do this where he has. How about this? This, this is what I'm thinking, I'm Brian. Sorry to interrupt, and we're not, you're not going anywhere. Uh, look, it's an eight game homestand. The, 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 things are positive. Let's see what he does. Let's give it. Hey, you know what? What do you say? We, we re let's, let's get back together at the end of this road trip to talk about why. So eight games. That's fair, right? Let's see how he does during this uh, homestand, rather. Sure. But, but, like, yeah. So let's let that happen. Let's not, hey, like, start doing the, oh, this is where Wiseman was supposed to be in year three, which is not true, right? Uh, obviously, they expected him to be much further along than he is. All star. Let's just, like, not value it. Okay, I'm good with that. Let's not value it good or bad either way. But, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough, Brian. But here's the way I do it. Here's the way I do it. And I really do. There, There is such a difference between young guys playing and young guys playing to win a game. And Bear with me here. I mean, to me, Wiseman's like, you know, again, Linda, Linda, uh, what's her name? Linda, the exorcist, Linda Blair in the exorcist, with the head spinning around. He had no, he's no idea where he's supposed to be at. Like, he's just out there playing. He's just out there surviving. That's all he's doing. Wiseman, you think he, you think Wiseman earlier this year is thinking, okay, what, when I go out there to, what can I do to give my team the best chance to win, to help them. the He's not thinking that. He's thinking, how the hell do I get from point A to point B to point C without the coach yanking me out of a game, without me making a mistake? Like, that's natural for a young player, especially with no competitive experience virtually. And I just think last night, he started. you started to see at least a glimpse of a guy who, all right, he, he did... He, Finally did some things that we've been asking him to do in a limited amount of time. And there it is. Like, I have to get these guys were these guys have been so bad this year, for the most part. You have to finally acknowledge Moody, Wiseman, and Kaminga last night were positive contributors in a win against a good team. Like that, that is the biggest thing to me because they were killing you. They've been killing you. They've been killing you this year. But now they have something tangible. They were positive in a win. Not a blowout. And I mean, there are, no, they were positives in a win. All right. Now let's take a look at the next seven games, see how they can be. And the other part about Wiseman, too, is he was – treated differently than the other two guys. He was a day one starter when he got to the NBA. And Steve Kerr has come out and said that that was unfair of the Warriors to expect big things from him immediately. So it's not just the fact that he has, you know, grown and, and gotten better, but like he has had to take more steps back than any of the other young guys on the team just because of what he was given immediately entering the association. So, with James Wiseman, yes, like, yes, he played eight minutes, and maybe it's much to do about a little. Not nothing, but a little bit. Not quite something. But that is what James Wiseman's role needs to be for this team. Maybe not the team in five years. Right. But the, the role for this team needs to be, hey, as a backup center, like, we need a guy that can just bring a presence to the court that no one else can. Like he has some, he has physical tools that no one else does. And for him, Kaminga and Moody to all be 
working finally, like in sync. I mean, there were articles written over the past few months about how Kaminga and Wiseman couldn't play on the floor together, and it didn't look like they could play on the floor together. Now at least it looks like it does, and that is valuable for a Warriors team that, as we've discussed, has leaned on a lot of two-way guys to be their kind of young contributors, and there's going to be a point this year in which those two-way guys, because of the limitations of the two-way contract, cannot play anymore. So you need to get them up to speed to the point where maybe they can play 10 to 20 minutes at the end of a regular season game, and maybe even if... God forbid Draymond Green misses time. God forbid Kevon Looney gets hurt, who seems like he can pencil him in for 100 games a year. Then Wiseman's role does become significant, and he needs to at least be able to give you some sort of confidence that he can handle that. Right. Right. And and up until last night, or maybe the last two games, depending on how you look at it, up until then, I I couldn't say that. And he'll stink. He'll stink again this year. He will. But the question is... The question is, I mean, to me, how many how many times was why this might be the first time Wiseman's been a positive when he's out on the floor. Probably isn't, but the point is, is how many how many positives now can he cram onto the floor in the next seven games? Look, if if we're gonna kill him for being a negative in a G League game, which some people did, then you also have to be able to acknowledge when he is good, even if it's for ten minutes. I mean, because he couldn't it sounds like a backhanded compliment, but he couldn't even do that exactly. to begin this season. Let's go to uh, let's go to Eddie. Eddie's in San Mateo. What's up, Eddie? Hey guys, uh, great show. Uh, I just want to kind of make a couple points about a couple points about Wiseman. Um, you know, I mean, I think everyone is you know, kind of taking light in terms of you know what his performance in G League and he scored thirty points in the in the Nets game. You know. Blow out as it might be, it's an NBA game. You know, can, can Damian Jones score 30 points in that game? You know, that, that's, that's you know, my point there. Yeah. If you go back to the eight uh, minutes, no. you know, looking at Wiseman, I agree. I agree with, you know, uh, your points in terms of you should focus on defense and, you know, just being physical, you know, like you did in eight minutes. But if you look at those eight minutes, I went back and looked at it. I mean, there's five times I think he had, he had deep position and, 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 so you know, throw the ball in there at the dunk, and also you know, in a G League game, the game he had, um, I think, also thirty points. I mean, he has a legitimate, you know, back to the basket jump hook that I don't think I don't think anyone could stop. So I think there's times in the NBA game in the NBA season that that can be valuable, you know, when especially in a team of three point shooters. So I think I mean that's I mean I, I wouldn't just count his offense so you know so quickly. Well, I, I mean, listen, th- that's fair. That's fair. I, I I don't think as highly, I, I don't think his offensive game is like he's a he's he's you know the old phrase jack of all trades master and none. Yep. Well, he's not even kind of a jack of all trades. The jack of some trades. Yes, but again, like this is where I'm. He's twenty one or twenty, whatever he is. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean the one that's most developed and the the guy who we haven't discussed a whole lot throughout this show that showed out last night was Jordan Poole. I mean, Jordan Poole played a pretty damn good game against a Memphis team that clearly was trying to, or at least Dylan Brooks was, trying to do what he tries to do to Steph Curry, which is, you know, run him off the three-point line, beat him up. And I thought Poole responded about as well as, look, I mean, he didn't shoot the lights out. It was 3 of 10 from three-point range. But he was in a game in which, again, you're on a national stage, and you don't you don't want to get embarrassed by a team that's been talking all this crap over the last few months, despite getting bounced by you in the playoffs last year. Like I thought, Jordan Poole didn't shy away from the moment, and especially for a guy who didn't have a, a great road trip uh, to come back home and, and play as well as he did on Christmas Day, I thought was pretty impressive. Jordan Poole's averaging more points this year than last year. He's averaging nineteen and a half this year. Like, let me ask you this. Hey, how was Jordan Poole? How did he do in the playoffs last year? He started out great and then regressed. I, I would say was, over each round. I thought he was terrific in the playoffs. I do. Because to expect anything more than that, than what he gave you in the playoffs, like that superstars do that. Like he's too young. He He won them playoff games. Let me look at some of these numbers. 30, at least 
okay, this is a guy who's a 27th pick. Let me just throw you some. Okay, first round. Against Denver, he was all time. 30, 29, 27. Monster series. Okay. Let's go to Memphis. Okay, 31, 20, 27. I'm sorry, right there. Boom. That's a lot of, like, like for a player like that, like, in other words, if he has three more games like that, he's a super, like, he's Steph Curry at that point. All right, next series. Dallas. He's got a 19, a 23, 10, 14, 16. Solid. 